then yes, um, it's, it's, it's clear what the trajectory is. As I said, about, in fact, it's about 92.5% of all new power capacity additions uh, for generation worldwide last year, new power last year, was renewable through nuclear nowhere, absolutely, you know, practically nowhere. So there is a trajectory here. I mean, there is, there is basically what is going on and what is not going on. What is actually going on is the renewable evolution. I mean, that's, that's simply what's happening. And the beauty of it is that it's fast, it's quick, uh, it's significantly less expensive uh, than nuclear. And in the last few months, uh, uh, we've learned that new renewables is, uh, is a lower cost uh, than new coal. So even in terms of the economics between renewables and coal, renewables win. So if we are to ameliorate climate, we won't be able to stop climate. I mean, yes. things will happen, you know, there will be impacts on our food supply. Uh, we won't be able to get insurance from houses by the coast or by inland rivers. Uh, you know, people will see this, uh, you know, in their, in their everyday lives. Uh, and certainly worldwide in places like Bangladesh or mm -hmm. Thailand or, you know, the, you know, in other places, there will be, you know, ne the Netherlands, there will be significant impacts. Um, so we, we can't just sort of carry on doing this. I mean, it's a kind of a death cult. Mm -hmm. uh, coal and fossil fuel and oil uh, is a kind of a death cult. We, you know, we'll stuff up the world. So we have to electrify. I mean, we, yeah. we have no choice. We must do this.